now that I have a square, I might want to change the color of it. So if I use the color object, put object, type color, C-O-L-O-R, this is the spelling PD uses, or G, B, for red, green, and blue. Computers mix various amounts of red, green, and blue to come up with any other color. This is different to painting, which you all know in paint we mix red, yellow, and blue um, as our three primaries, but when we're working with um, machines that admit light, so that admit light, the primary colors are red, green, and blue. And by sending um, our square various amounts of red, green, and blue, we change the color we see. So I can send the color a message, um, so control two for a message, and I'll put in my message one zero zero and I'll send this to my color object. I need to connect my color object to my square. So I'll trans connect it to translate and then color. And if I go to play mode, control E or Apple E and hit the color, you'll see that my square is red. And that's because one, I've one red for or, I've zero green and I've zero blue. So if I wanted a green square, I would send it a message, control two for a message, and I'd have zero red, one for green, and zero blue. And I'd attach this Go to play mode, Apple or control E, hit this message and my square is green. So likely if I wanted a blue square, I'd send it a message 0, zero 001, um, which we can do here. Zero, zero, 001. Control E or Apple E for play mode and hit it and we have a blue square. So immediately you can see I can change the color of my square by clicking these. Um, and I can also change the size of my square by adding a number box to go into the cold inlet of my square over here hard to get at because I have a lot of things going in but I'll go back to my play mode control R Apple E and I'll change the size of my square Just rotate it translate it from before change the color there okay so that's it